what is the importance of yoga in life? Why yoga should be part of life? First of all, let's try to understand the importance of it. See, there are very important things in life, right? According to you, starting from the air, oxygen. You cannot be alive if there is no oxygen, if you cannot breathe for a few minutes. So, we need it. We don't neglect that. And, and comes to the water. If you don't drink it for some time, you can be still alive, but you will essentially die after some time, right? So, th look at the duration. If you don't breathe for a few minutes, we cannot live. If you don't drink water for a few hours, few days, the duration is increasing. But finally, we are seeing the bad results, right? If you don't provide water, enough of one water in the right time, we can live for some time, for some duration, and then we cannot exist after that. And comes to the food. Same thing, if you don't provide the food for a few days, we can see water is this much duration. Food is maybe more. But still, if you don't provide the food in time, we can live for some duration, for a few days, and then we cannot live after that. What does it mean? If you don't provide the body what it needs, it can sustain for some time, but it cannot drag it in, it cannot extend it further. That means we are shortening the lifetime, you know? isn't it? We are reducing the lifetime. If you don't provide, if you don't breathe intentionally, we we'll, we'll live for a few minutes. That means you are not providing what the body needs. Same goes to the water. If you don't provide the water to the body, it can live for some time and then it cannot live after that. You are shortening the lifetime. Same goes to the food. If you don't provide the food, it can live for a few, day, few days, few hours and then it cannot live after that. That means you are shortening the life. Same, yoga is also similar. If you don't do yoga, you are reducing your lifetime. See, the duration may be different. The result may be, you know, it cannot come immediately. Like the oxygen, the result is immediate. The water is not immediate, right? You are not seeing the result immediately. It is taking some time. And you are seeing the result after some time, few hours, few days. Food also is the same. You are not seeing the result immediately. You can live for a few days if you don't eat food. The same way, if you don't do yoga, what happens? You are still alive, but you cannot live to the fullest. You cannot enjoy the life to the fullest. You cannot utilize the body and mind to the fullest. And you cannot live life to the fullest. That's the difference. See, yoga was part of life. And it is gone now because of somebody, something. We have adapted to few things which are not required, which are not important. We have left every good thing. which are important to the life, to the body, to the mind, to my happiness, to my satisfaction, to live the life joyfully. Whatever was necessary, whatever was important, whatever was needed, whatever has to be followed, we left everything, we thrown it in the dustbin. Now, anything, everything, whatever we are following, not that important, not necessary, but we are thinking, we are feeling that is important, necessary, and we are not letting it go. Yoga is important just like the oxygen, just like the water and food. See, I told you, right? Body cannot exist without oxygen. The same way we are designed in such a way that the body is designed in such a way that. Every organ has to 
have some activity, some work. That's when they function properly, that's when they, they are healthy. You have to strengthen them by doing asanas, pranayama, meditation every day. The creation is like that. It is created in such a way that you have to provide some activity to the body, to every organ, to every joint, to every muscle, nervous system. Otherwise, they don't function properly. But we took it in a wrong way. How? We don't want to give any physical activity to the body. We, we don't like it. We hate it. Why do you hate it? I, you don't like sweating. You hate sweating. You hate bending. You hate twisting. You hate doing some any physical activity. You feel irritated. You stay away from physical activity. You put a lot of load on mental mind. You are okay with the stress load. But I am against doing any physical work. In the house also I don't like doing any physical work. I don't do any. First of all, why are you against the physical activity? If you do physical activity, you sweat well, the toxins will go out, the organs will function properly, you will strengthen the organs, every joint system, the metabolism will get boosted, the immune system will get improved. You are understanding, right? It is reverse. What you understood, what you are following is not good. The more you work, the more physical activities you do, the more benefits you have. You will stay away from diseases. You will improve your immune system. You can boost your metabolism. We don't like sitting on the ground. We don't like twisting. We don't like doing work in the house with our body. We want machinery for everything. Everything has to be done with machine so that I can be away from sweating, giving some activity to the body. It is wrong. So what are you seeing now? Because of the wrong lifestyle, wrong understanding. You are seeing diseases in everybody right nowadays. Starting from obesity, thyroid, everybody has some sugar, diabetes, right? Like a degree, we achieved. We achieved something by living in a wrong lifestyle. That's an achievement that you have to celebrate it. Celebrate that. Why don't we spend some time to get educated about self, yourself? Why don't you spend some time to know about yourself, what the body needs, how is it designed? How should I use it? How I should not treat this? How can I use the body? When should I use it? When should I sleep? When should I wake up? When should I drink water? When I should not drink water? When should I do yoga? When should I eat? When I should not eat? How much should I eat? How much load should I put on the body, physical stress, physical weight? That has a limit, right? You cannot push it beyond that. Even the mind has a limit. You cannot put a lot of load on it. That becomes into stress, depression, that, anxiety, mental issues. Mental load, you cannot put a lot of load on it. And if you don't have a proper lifestyle, it cannot take it. So, you are inviting diseases. You put a lot of load, you don't sleep on time, you don't do yoga, you don't strengthen the immune system, you don't strengthen the organs. Every organ is weak, right? The lungs, the heart, kidney, liver, diaphragm, everything is nice. Digestive system, muscles, joints, bones. Hence, you cannot take anything, the body cannot take anything, the mind cannot take anything. Because it is gone weak, it is going weak day by day. You are doing it.
no india or no ili but still you are doing it right that doesn't matter that you are mistake you have to spend time to know but you have time to know about everything else is it you have time when you go to buy a car you will learn about it properly how to maintain it how to use it or you buy some some gadgets you will take care of it so so nicely and you will see terms and conditions how to use it how not to use it because you want to use it for a long time no you will take care of it why don't you show the same responsibility seriousness towards your body treat this as a gadget at least the gadget is more important than your body life is it you have no time to know about your body what the body needs body needs oxygen air water food and then next important thing is yoga it is not an optional thing don't think in that way it's a part of life it was part of life it has to be part of life if you want to live for a longer time that too proper life healthy life happy life peaceful life to enjoy to experience life to the fullest you need to include yoga that's when the body functions properly starting from skin muscle bones nervous system organs you know the cells to the cells seed to the cells the tissues whatever you call it as the immune system the mind the heart the lungs liver everything functions properly when you provide what the body wants it it functions properly of course if you don't provide the oxygen what happens you are seeing the result no if you provide the oxygen and of of oxygen what the body wants how the body wants how much it wants when it wants it functions properly when you provide water it functions properly when you provide food it functions properly when you provide it proper ample of rest in the name of sleep that short rest right to the body it is get, it is getting relaxed it is healing itself it functions properly if you do yoga asanas pranayama meditation the body and mind functions properly so you are extending your lifetime you are living for a longer time how healthy physically mentally both you cannot spend one hour is it for your health to stay away from diseases to stay away from stress depression whatever insomnia sleeping issues lot of people have no nowadays they cannot sleep properly they cannot eat properly they cannot take even a small thing disturbance in their life they feel lot of stress depressed for small small things why cannot you face it why cannot you take it whatever is happening it's happening and you try to come out of it you find for a solution why to take it in a negative way because of the lifestyle you should know what is important what is the value of it how much should i you know worry about it when should i leave it this is an art right you should know how to live you cannot keep the same thing and drag it all the time and feel bad sad about it feel stressed about it it's it's happened right whatever has happened happened you need to find you know to way to come out of it forget about it that can be economic economical problem financial issues relationship issues friends somebody might have psychologically hurt you or whatever it is any or anything it is just leave it go on life has to go on why do you stop there because you don't know the body is not helping you the mind is not helping you how to deal with it because you are not using the body and mind in a proper way it's a give and take right if you give what the body and mind wants it will give you what you want you don't provide properly anything it wants starting from air water food rest yoga 
and then how does the body help you? It cannot take anything. You provide what the body needs. It's a, the, the creation has happened in such a way that you have to respect it. You are respecting your office hours, right? Your target in the office. Otherwise, you don't get salary paid or there is no hike. The incentive will get you know, cut. Promotion will get cut. There you will pay a lot of interest. Seriousness. Show the same interest towards your life and body, health. At least 50%. This is more important than everything, right? For me, this is more important. I don't know about you. The life and the health, my happiness, satisfaction, the way I live is more happy, more important than anything, everything else. Everything, what, why, why am I doing everything else? Whatever I am doing, whatever you are doing, why are you doing? To be healthy, right? To enjoy the life, right? To make the every moment in the entire life most memorable, beautiful. Not just to go to office and do some activity like a machine all the time. Whatever I do is to keep me happy, to make me happy, for me to enjoy, express, experience things. So if you don't do yoga, what happens? You, you know, right, by this time you should have understood. The organs don't function properly, the mind doesn't function properly, the metabolism will go down, it will get weakened, the immune system will go weak. It goes weak, right, automatically? You are not providing the energy properly, you are not activating the organs properly, you are not providing the uh, energy. That's what energy, right? In the form of oxygen, in the form of water, in the form of food, in the form of asanas, pranayama, meditation. They need it. The body needs it. You understand the needs of the body, you respect the creation, and then you see the results. You, you are the one who is going to enjoy it when you have a proper health, physical, mental health. You can live for a longer time with your loved ones. You can do whatever you want. You can achieve things that you are aspiring, aiming for. When you take care of your body, then, you, then only you can do all these things. So try to change your lifestyle. Provide ample of oxygen, Provide ample of water, food, good food in the right quantity at the right time. Do yoga properly. At least one hour. You spend one hour. If you don't have any diseases, start yoga. Good things has to be started now. Bad things have to be postponed. Isn't it? You have an experience, right? If somebody invites you to do something, some bad things, you will go immediately without even thinking about anything else. If somebody like me says, do yoga, sleep sleep in the right time, early in the night, by 9 o'clock, eat good food, wake up early, do meditation, what you also like it, but what do you do? You will postpone it. You will say, okay, we will start from next week. We will start from next month. Next year, why are you postponing it? The more you delay, the more bad things are waiting for you in the form of diseases. See, bad things has to be, bad things have to be postponed. You should learn to say no or postpone those things and you should learn to start good things now. If not now, then never. Good things, if I postpone, if you postpone it, it is not going to begin any time. Good things has to be immediately started. But we are reverse. Bad things we do you now, good things we post for them. Don't do that. Okay? The more you delay, the more you are going to feel sorry about it. So, start at least with one hour. If you don't have diseases, one hour is okay or one and a half hour is best. If you have diseases, you have to do two times. If you have to cure the diseases, there is no other go. You have to do the morning once or once in the evening, two times. If you don't have any disease, 
if you don't want to get any diseases in the future do once in a day one one to one and a half hours do some sunamaskara for some time asanas pranayama and then meditation for some time can't you spend one hour one and a half hours to yourself why are we so busy so so busy so that i say i don't have time to do yoga for myself i don't have time to eat i don't have time to sleep then why where am i spending all the time you would have heard the dialogue right i don't have time to eat i don't have time to sleep i don't have time to do yoga why then what what are you doing with the life and time where are you spending it why are you spending it if you don't have time for yourself then what is the point so include yoga and you see the results no if you do it for one week then you will know it which your experience the way when you eat food you are experiencing you are knowing it right the same way when you change your lifestyle you will see the results you will start experiencing you will start enjoying it then you will continue nobody has to tell you anything nobody has to force you after that once you experience once you taste it that's how it is right after tasting something then i don't let it go i'll carry it forward i'll take it forward but first you have to push yourself at least for a week or 10 days do it and then see the results then you will you will do it and you will also encourage your loved ones to do it your friends your relatives you will only tell them the beauty of it how fresh you feel how positive you feel how energetic you feel how pleasant it, it is mentally physically then you will start you know telling people encouraging people because you tested it right so start yoga be healthy